Asheville skyline is changing by the day, as we have seen, and sometimes it's tough to keep up. Absolutely, but does change always mean progress? Well, David Ewing is with Nashville History on Tour, and he is here today to talk to us. David, you are a ninth-generation Nashvillian. Your family has amazing history. I mean, I've just... It, you're a plethora of information. So you're here to talk to us a little bit about the history of Nashville and we're going to play a game. Exactly. I love Nashville history. I give tours. I do history consulting. But Larissa, Laura, welcome to Nashville. Thank you. And we're going to have some fun and quiz you on how much you really know about Nashville. <laughs> uh oh, this is a little intimidating. It's true. We're playing a game called Nashville or not. Right. And so, all the stories that I tell you are real true stories, but true some stories. happened in Nashville and some no, not. not. <laughs> okay. So, okay. Are you ready? We are ready. We are ready, okay. putting us to the test. And Let's to go. stay in the kind of current events, in 1977, Prince Charles, now King Charles, attended a Southeastern Conference football game against two Southeastern Conference schools in this city. James Brown performed at halftime. Is this Nashville or not? Ooh, ooh, ooh. I'm going to say no. I'm going to say not because I feel like I would have heard if he came yeah. here. Okay, yeah. Yeah. correct. <gasps> it was the okay. University ooh. of Georgia. All right. He was invited there. And sadly, the University of Georgia lost 33 to nothing oh, to Kentucky. That's sad. That is sad. <laughs> Another football question. In okay. 1940, Bear Bryant coached college football in this city for a year before enlisting into the Navy after Pearl Harbor, Nashville or not? Huh. Nashville. I'm going to say not. You got oh, it right, Mark. Oh. Bear Bryant Two points. worked at Vanderbilt as the line coach for a year. Fred Russell, a very famous writer for the Nashville Banner, convinced him to come take this job in Nashville. Pearl Harbor happened. He signed up for the Navy, never came back here, except on the, coach, on the sidelines to coach at the University of Alabama Crimson Tide in I'm sure they beat Vanderbilt most of his career. Wealth wow, of knowledge, wow. people, as we said, wealth yes. of knowledge. Okay, Music City. So oh, we have some music I questions can do this. for you Bring it on. in our recording industry. In 1969, the Rolling Stones recorded Honky Tonk Woman in this city. Nashville or not? Ooh, I'm going with not on that Nashville. one. Nashville. Oh. Larissa, you, it's not. Oh, we're even. Hon Honky oh, Tonk yes. Woman was recorded in London. Oh, huh. you know, Honky Tonk Woman was recorded in London. London. Okay. Very interesting. Also in the year 1969, Bob Dylan recorded the song Lay, Lady, Lay. Was it Nashville or not? I'm going to say Nashville. I'm, I'm going to go with the same I mean, Nashville music too city. Okay. Yeah? No, around the, your other, Nashville. Oh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> I know. You're both right, <laughs> Nashville. Now, can uh, I work a paddle? It, no, but was, I knew the answer. It was recorded in Owen Bradley's famous Quonset Hut studio on Music Row, which is still there, part of the Belmont School of oh. Music. Okay. Another 1969 song. 1969, Frank Sinatra recorded the song My Way in Nashville or not. I'm saying not. Yeah, no. Okay. I, I... Frank Sinatra, Rat Pack, I don't know about Nashville. Okay, we record lots of songs, but My Way was not recorded in Nashville. Okay. Although, we have a Frank Sinatra bar that's going to be opening up later oh, okay. here on 4th Avenue. Oh, from see? The owner of the Johnny Cash uh, Saloon. Um, last two questions. The first Burger King was started in this city in 1953. Nashville or not? No. I'm going to say Nashville. Okay. I know Nashville loves Margaret. the burgers. Oh, no. <laughs> Burger King was started in Jacksonville, Florida. Not oh, here. see, I didn't know that. Okay. I Bummer. didn't know that. Okay, so last question. After Colonel Sanders started Kentucky Fried Chicken, he sold it, and he the headquarters was moved to this city in 1964. Nashville or not? So I was wrong. I'm just going to say Nashville. I'm going to say Nashville I mean, on that. You, I, With, the yes. default is Nashville. Yes, Jack Massey, <laughs> yes. Wow. who took Kentucky Fried Chicken Public, who the Massey School is named after at Belmont University, okay. moved the headquarters here briefly in the Hundred Oaks area, and then it oh. went back up to Kentucky because Governor, later Governor John Y. Brown, wanted it up there. Wow. Kentucky Fried Chicken, a little bit of Kentucky Fried Chicken knowledge, a little yes. bit of Frank Sinatra, a lot about Nashville. <laughs> yeah. But yeah. Jack You're Massey right. literally was the first person to take three companies public on the New York Stock Exchange. He took uh, KFC, 
HCA and Mrs. Winters all public. Oh, wow. I love you. Yes. Can you come back every yes. day? Yes. This, it is so awesome to meet somebody who has such a, a wealth of knowledge. Mm -hmm. So you're you're well, you're sticking around. Congratulations on your new show <laughs> thank and I'll you. be back. Oh, thank you, David. Yeah, thank you so thank you. much. Well, to get a history lesson and check out our very cool photos, follow David at Nashville I wish I knew on Instagram it's actually awesome I follow you and it's really cool yeah it is very <laughs> cool and local on two wants to know your favorite Nashville memory get social with us drop us a line Facebook Instagram we want to hear all your answers and send us your pictures too